Oh, you are in. You are in. I thought I'd come early. How are we? Can you hear me all right up there? Ah, uh, hard luck. Are you all right here? Are you sure? Wonderful, wonderful. I ate this bit. I did it yesterday and fell on my... But, uh, well, welcome to the Cooperative Funeral Care Scottish International Open 2015. Do you know, it's been eight years that the Cooperative Funeral Care have been supporting us in Scotland. How's that? Okay. And uh, they signed up again this year. And I've just noticed my female marker going around and kissing everybody. I'll, I'll hang on till you've had a good snog. But, uh, and it's good to see a lot of you come back year after year. So thank you very much for your support. We're a little bit short of people this morning, which is a shame because um, you'll be missing some really, really good matches, or they will. But uh, how many of you have actually seen the YouTube stream? Ser serious question. One, two, well, that's a waste of my time then. How many here have been looking at the YouTube stream? Two, three. Well, I was going to ask some questions, but that'll be a... I'll still ask anyway. Y you've been watching it, have you? Yeah. And it been all right for you? Yeah? Well, just to give you an idea, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, we've had emails in from people that have been watching it. Um, Argentina, Peru, Iceland. As long as I'm just out there, it's fine. As long as they feed me up. Of course, the only thing is, I don't want Paul's mic to pick me up. It's not bad, is it? Not bad. Oh. And it's free. Well, for you, <laughs> not for me. But um, no, I'm very pleased. Uh, I think I told some of you the other day that um, last year we had 300,000 viewers. Anyway, so we'll manage. Really, really good. And this year there's a new website, um, and it's worldbowlstour.tv. And on that website, if you can't get in and you want to see the latest score, we're doing live scores. Not end by end, but after each set, so you can Brent, keep abreast of it. Divi Holt plays down. Brent. So that takes, you know, it, it's all, we're coming along, it's all a uh, hello. God, can we move it's on? Uh, Let's get working started, Working well. Guys. But, um... And up against him, ladies and gentlemen, he's a former British Isles champion. He beat David Gawley in the first round to get to this round. Let's welcome Jamie Chesney. They played the 
trial ends, we go straight into the match and I hand you over to commentary with Janice Gower. And Jimmy Chesney gets a jack off for the first end of the first set in this match against Jonathan Ross. Jonathan. Jimmy Chesney, a very experienced player, of course, been around the game a long time. One red. Very good win against David Gurley in the first round, using his attacking balls extremely well. Now Jonathan Ross, well, fairly straightforward for him in terms of the Canadian that he beat, but uh, that's really due to the fact that the Canadians don't really have the opportunity to play much indoor bowls and um, a major disadvantage coming into these events. Good line with this ball. Excellent delivery, straight in for number one. Red. Well, it's actually called as one red. I thought that ball had just dropped back in for the shot, but it hasn't. Mm, that might change things. One green. Yep, just give the shot away slightly inside the line with that one. And Jimmy will have to be a little bit careful. Well, that's uh, probably why Jimmy stayed away from that. Very sensible as well. Wise move. A chance for Jonathan to touch the jack across his two red balls, playing narrow line with a little bit of extra weight. Just hard to get back in that hand once you put the extra pace on it. Just struggling. One shot, Jamie Chesney.
Oh, good adjustment. One red. Second ball right in on it. Between Jamie's and your ball is six inches. I see the clock shot running down. Won't be a real problem, I wouldn't have thought, for either of these players are both pretty quick. Jonathan Ross out of the blocks pretty early. He's playing good balls. First hand, and uh, once again, very close in this one. Jamie just needs to run off the red one. One red. Jonathan trying to get to the green ball. Any sort of weight there would have been useful. Even going through the jack would have been very handy. As it is, that green ball's looking a little bit exposed. Uh, Jimmy just needs to rest up to it. Dropping inside, he's still leaving the ball available. Jonathan will play a bit more attacking this time. Doesn't matter staying in the head, he just wants to remove the green ball. This one he looks like there's a bit more on this one. Won't be too far away. Hard to get back. One shot, Jonathan Ross. Still, Johnson will take the single. Steady start for both players, first two hands, and that's a good way to be. Jonathan has been very accurate with his first ball. That's the third time succession. He's been very, very close. One inch. Definitely found his range, no doubt about that. Talented player, Jonathan Ross. Jimmy will attack this one, yes. He's a, he's a very attacking player, but the portable rink, it's never easy to play those little running balls. Edge will do. Yep, that's the best result possible. Brought it right out into the open. So one ball will be removed off the side of the rink and the jack will go back onto the respot position. There we go, one to green by the looks of it. There's another deep red ball.
It's a good tactic against Jonathan Ross. Play those at attacking balls early, shake him up a little bit, get him off his, his drawing rhythm, trying to force him into the weight shots. If there's any weakness okay. with Jonathan, it's a heavy drive. He plays a controlled weight. He's usually pretty good at them, though. Good after playing the runner. Good ball. One green. There's the adjustment. Sixteen inches. Nearly two feet. Mm. He still follow his own, take the two feet off. Well turned to us to play the backhand and come across it, but uh, hard to find the line. He knows the line and the weight on this hand. He's certainly out in a good track. Has he adjusted his weight? Jack would be a bonus. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Well, even without the jack, he was drawing the shot. But a little touch makes two a double. Shots, Jamie Chesney. Lovely delivery. Well, it just shows the benefit of uh, the attacking ball when you play it well. Track length 28 metres. say these guys are definitely finding their line and length. High quality game. Johnson's close. <laughs> you certainly ex expect the second round to be just a, a step up and uh, there's no doubt about the quality of uh, these two players. It's just whether they can replicate the first round. I'll just get that a little bit better. Jimmy pushed all the way by David Gurley, so uh, you would expect <laughs> him to be in good form, but an easy One first three. round for Jonathan, so this is a different ball game. Struggling a little bit. There's quite a few people have moved onto the forehand in this direction towards our commentary position. That just dropped a little bit short for their first delivery on that hand. I just wonder, it's just a little bit heavier. Can happen on the on any rink. Doesn't matter whether it's supportable or not. It looks like Jamie's had the same problem. Anything behind the jack was good there. Johnny Ross trying to arrive with a little bit of weight on this to disturb it, give himself a, a chance with his last ball. Mm, struggling again. Yeah, just didn't have the the right weight on that. I think the line was good enough. Needed to par through it with another yard or so to disturb the jack. Looking for the split. I expect Jamie to be up with this one. Anything behind the jack will make Jonathan think about playing uh, very carefully with his last ball. So 
and should be going deep. Oh, not much. He's dropping in on it. Well, that more or less blocks Jonathan Ross off from what he wanted to play. Get the split and the run through. The angle that's at now, oh, he could take his own ball out with the front green one. If he gets into the shot ball, goes back. Don't think he can do much with this. He's running out of time as well. I think if he had had a deliberate shot available to him, he would have taken a time out, but uh, there wasn't much he could do with that head. One shot, Jamie Chesney. So as I said before, Jamie Chesney's been around the game a long time. He's been to the quarterfinal of the world singles at one stage. Some eight years ago. Very young at that time. He's only 29 now. 28 and a half meters. Married to Natalie Melmore, the number one ladies outdoor player for England. Commonwealth Games gold medalist uh, five years ago and last year silver medalist, but uh, excellent player. Current British Ice champion as well. She won at Leamington Spa in June of this year. Forehand trying to reach that last red ball that will be the target. Drop inside that to try and protect the jack a little bit. Dropping a bit short though. That gives Jonathan a chance. No reason why he shouldn't arrive at this. So he wants to be delicate about it. He can turn the jack two or three feet, but that's a hard shot in that backhand. Oh, he has got a shoulder to come off. Might be better to be a bit more aggressive. Standing very straight on the mat, gives me the impression he's playing a bit more pace to it. Mm. Well, didn't get it away too well. Doesn't want to take his own ball away. Oh dear. Well, he's got no back position now, no side position either. Both those balls will go off the rink. to the backhand to try and find the center rink if he can with this bit of protection. Well, it's protected it a little bit. Still come around it. Yeah. So Jonathan's trying just to try and drift around the short ball, get back into the jack. Extra weight, he won't come back. Just struggling to make it. Chance of second ball though. One shot, Jamie Chesney. Ascending 
at least just confirming one shot our marker for this match That's a nice little lead at 5-1. Still four ends to go. Two like sets of nine ends, of course, and a three-end tie break if required. Two short balls. Jonathan's been playing this direction very well. I certainly expect this one to arrive in for the double. <laughs> That's good bowling. Ball's only 10, 12 inches away. Good adjustment. Unfortunately, he's just left it Let's hanging off the side. And Jack Hyde just, well, that's shoulder to go for. And Jonathan can afford to reach this. It's just difficult to pick out the weight that he wants. And what we call an arriving draw, slightly inside the line with the extra weight to hold the ball up. He's got his own on the way in. Can use it. Needs an edge. He got the edge, but still not the result that he wanted. I think he just needed a little bit more weight. So as Jimmy needs another ball in. Surprised he's playing it on the forehand because. Uh, there is a red ball on the way in in the forehand. If he locks onto that, it's going to do him absolutely no good whatsoever. If he gets past it, well, it is good. Yes, he has. Well, that's a brilliant ball. It's a hard way to go in, but I uh, thought he might have tried to block it on the backhand, giving Jonathan absolutely nothing to play. But that was a tremendous ball. Needed one in. Hit the hard way in the forehand after three good ball, or th sorry, a really good ball in the backhand. Jonathan will be arriving at this. Narrow, a bit more extra weight. Yep, well under the line this time. It looks like it might be too far under. Yep, there it goes. Second double of the game. Two shots, Jamie Chesney. Well, I have to say, Jimmy played two in different bowls, the first two deliveries, but my goodness me, he played two brilliant ones with the last two, and that was enough. Picks up the double, seven one in front after six ends. Jack length, twenty eight and a half meters.
once again. Thompson getting in with that first ball. He's played very well in this match to have one shot on the scorecard, but Jamie's played some really good deliveries and when he's had the opportunity to play the runner, he's played it well. Look at this for a recovery ball. Oh, that's fantastic. Brilliant second. And right in behind the jack. Well, certainly a high quality game. No argument about that. One green. Anything on the wide side and just slightly through the jack would be good here because that jack will squeeze across if Jonathan gets to it. He'd prefer to get the ball, but it looks like it's possibly half locked in by his own red one. It's not going to make it anyway easy. Any choices here with regards to how much weight he uses. Either way, he has to arrive at it. Trying to disturb it, give himself a chance with the last ball. Bit of a flick on delivery there. Unless he's going to be lucky off of his own. Well, he was narrow. Really wouldn't have deserved anything with that ball, but uh, in the end wasn't far away. Just didn't seem to get it away very clean. It was always bumped and bobbled a bit. Jimmy go wide and a little bit heavier this time. And get past his own ball onto closer to the respot. Well, had one there, didn't need another one. Should have been through. Although uh, dangerous for Jonathan to go with this. Hasn't got any choice though. He's already one down, or sorry, one down on the on the, the green. See if he gets a result this time. I don't think so. Got Jack will go on the respot. Looks like two to Jamie. Taking the one out anyway. Jamie asking for the two. Can't blame him. Asking for the two would take the set. saying take the set but realistically it was Jonathan have to score two fours <laughs> which uh, in this match is just not going to happen so well the next end will be the end of the set because even if he gets two it'll be nine one with eight possible shots to score so The set's got away from Jonathan Ross, and he's played pretty well in it, but uh, Jamie's done all the scoring with some brilliant deliveries. One shot, Jamie Chesney. It's been good value for the 8 one lead. Length 28 meters. Just getting a few more spectators in. Time to settle. <laughs> well, there's been very few games that I've watched with Jonathan Ross where he's played any better than this with his first ball. 
Jamie's beating it almost every time. Jimmy will close this down. Just wants to make sure Jonathan doesn't score three. Not worried about giving him a single. One red. Little touch wouldn't do him any harm, but. Uh, Brings the ball over to the side of the ring towards the red one. It was a good effort. It's another half decent ball, but he needed to be behind the jack to give himself a chance. Jonathan can't do much with this. He needs three shots to force the last end. He's looking pretty good to draw another one. Good effort. It's just the one, though. Two shots, Jonathan well. Ross. First set, Jamie Chesney. Two it is. Jamie not even worried about a measure on that one. Doesn't need to. Very happy to take that set. Eight shots to three and a very good value for it too, I have to say. Jonathan Ross has played well, but he's just lost out to, to Jamie. He's just had the edge. Jamie, when it came to uh, some brilliant draw shots, especially with his third and fourth ball. It's been good stuff. Excellent game. Jack Lane for 28 and a half metres. Well, this is the way Jonathan started off the first set. First ball close. I think for Jimmy now is not to relax for even a moment. He was in control of the first set. Red. 
The winner of this match will go into the quarterfinal against the winner of Alex Marshall and Greg Harlow. So that's a bit tasty. That match will be on later today. Look forward to it. Jimmy, you're all over the place on this end. You really just can't allow yourself to falter. Be red. Might be worth just trying to arrive at this to make a disturbance. Jack through is good for two. Sticking to the draw. Not sure if he's got the weight to carry this. Line's good. Oh, Jimmy, why are you not up with three against? Be yeah. it. Certainly scratching his head with this one because anything through the jack was good. And he has got a good running ball available to him. He's a very good tactical player. But uh, missed a chance. It's going to be an easy four for Jonathan Ross. No mistake, plenty of room. That's always the danger in the first end of the second set when you control the first set, playing really good balls, go walk about in the first end of the second. I suppose if you're going to do that, do it early. Once again, pretty good with the first one. One red. The cap is eight inches. Jonathan just trying to reach the green ball, and he's made it, and drops back for the double. You see, he is playing good balls, especially with the first two, and it uh, looks very comfortable out there, but uh, on the receiving end of a scoreline, which probably didn't deserve, but that's not taking anything away from Jamie. He was exceptional in the first set. He's good again with this one, too. Just going to roll off with the extra weight, but it's in the head, and... Paul Mitchell's joined me in the commentary box. It's an interesting game, Paul. It's, it's been quality as, as well. I've been enjoying watching it from the sidelines, David. I think Jonathan Ross, you've nailed it. He's playing well. But sometimes your opponent just gets on top of you. And I think that was an example there from Jimmy Chesney. When Jonathan Ross plays a good ball, his opponent responds. If anything, that's where the falter's been. Jonathan just been a little bit looser on occasions with uh, his third delivery. Got a chance again with this one. Needs to come off the front red, though. Oh, wrong side of it. That's going to make the double. Two red. Well, that's a good start to this second set for Jonathan Ross. One ball each to play. Line two would like to just close this one out. Oh, he's waving this one out on the wide side. He thinks he's a bit in the narrow. 
Well, he's absolutely right. There it goes. It's going to cross the center line. It didn't have the weight anyway. So I was saying about Jonathan, you know, the first two balls have been exceptional in this match, but hasn't always been following them up with the, the effective third and fourth deliveries. Although he's lying on this occasion. It's a lovely draw to come in. It's a tempting one. Uh, he can afford to arrive with a bit of weight if he gets back to his own, but uh, extra weight just hold, holding the ball away. Two shots, Jonathan Ross. <laughs> well, a very good start to the second set for Jonathan Ross. Taking the four to follow it up with a double. This will be a situation for Jamie of just trying to stop the score for the two ends. 6 0. Just get one on the card and do what he did the last end or the last set and just get those ones and twos moving. Get the scoreboard flicking over on his side. Good adjustment from Jonathan Ross. Yeah, the set could just start to get away from Jimmy Chesney here. So we're saying about Jonathan's third ball in particular, he's just missing the opportunity to close heads down. Oh, a ball just a foot short on the backhand would have left Jimmy with virtually nothing to play. He's going to get another bite at it though. Too heavy, just doesn't get back. early days but even after three ends if you're eight nil down it's a long way to get back and Jonathan will be thinking to himself pop this one just a little bit short of the jack well if he's moved on to the forehand he must be thinking to himself that Jamie can get back to punch the ball out or to punch the jack through let's have a look at the angles as we see our frame coming in now uh, he's looking for cover there I'm not so sure about that. I think if he'd have drawn another and just dropped short of the jack, <laughs> Jamie had nowhere to go. It was almost the very defensive shot to play, wasn't it, from the point of view? You're 6-0 up, you could potentially be 7. Just a bit cautious. Mm. He's inside the line. Uh, that's a hard shot to play, it really is. One shot, Jonathan Ross. And White takes a single. Gonna be a happy bear at that scoreline.
Well, he's not nailing the jack. But he's always within that foot or so with every single delivery. And that backhand coming this direction. First ball has been excellent. into a joke to get behind the head here Jonathan Ross he's done so useful ball Jimmy will be a lot happier now with that first one side toucher doesn't really want to touch the ball one green Hard for Jonathan to make it back on the, the backhand to get to the jack. Might be tempted to play something down the forehand, try and get the jack out into the open. Yeah, certainly forehand. Touch onto the green ball to spring the jack. What he's after. Yeah. His line was absolutely perfect. He just didn't have enough weight to do what he wanted to. Need another two feet on that. Now you Jimmy. don't want to do it for him. Yeah, he really can't afford to drop short, and that's exactly what he's done. Even a side ball on the backhand would have been useful. That very low on the flick delivery and that didn't get away right. Just didn't look comfortable out of the hand. He didn't let the ball flow through the line. Flicked it away. And wouldn't be at all surprised to see Jimmy play this on the backhand now. Well, sticking to the forehand just has to be a little bit careful. Better with this one. Much better with this one. Oh, he's made it. Played that really well. Beautiful delivery. Two shots, Jamie Chesney. Well, that shows the confidence of Jamie Chesney. It also reflects the state of the match, the fact he didn't think a single would be enough at this end. Oh, that's beautifully played. It was a pensive look there from Jamie, but it's, uh, I think it's one of frustrations. You've played a beautiful ball with your last ball to secure a two. And you want to get there or thereabouts, and you leave your space for your opponent. Well, Johnson's been playing this backhand so well in this direction, yet he's moved onto the forehand with the mat out. And he feels it's a, a better line to the jack. Both players playing the forehand. There's the correction now. That's what he was doing in the first set so often. Just gonna see how far up the rink it is.
as well. Play it again. One green. One to green. I thought it was close to the second. And Jonathan, well, it's going to be hard to draw that shot. He's got a choice. You can play into it, open it up, or just draw to it and accept the fact that it's going to be difficult to, uh, to score, but try and keep his opponent down to a single. The line is looking as if he's playing extra weight. He was on an inside line. He needed another yard or two to hold that. But again, Paul, the third ball's not being as effective as what it could be. You know, he's not shaking things up or adding to the head with a third delivery, and uh, that's something he'll probably look at at some stage after the match, win or lose. Little scratch of the head. Well. Jamie, what are you doing down there? Because anything behind would have been good. Two front balls have just moved, so there may be an opportunity for that green ball to be in now. Oh, very good measure, Jonas. It slightly favoured you, but it's very, very close. Yeah, I still think Johnson has to arrive at this, try and get his own ball onto the jack. Take the time out. I'm out cold. He was getting very close. Plenty of plenty of those available. It's been a pretty swift match. Two boys are not messing about. And the completion of fifth end, second set. We haven't even played an hour yet. And that's going for the running ball, but once again, he's off the line. Those are the hard shots, and it's exactly what Jimmy wants. Forcing Jonathan into playing them. Close. Pop the measure in. One green out. Measure for two. <laughs> well, he's brought himself back into the set. Marker's got it right, just a one. It is just the one. One shot, Jamie Chesney. Sandra always happy about that. She called it, she favoured the, the other ball. It was a very good third delivery though. Popping that in round the corner, hiding it away. He's a little disappointed he took it so far, but to be fair, Jonathan Ross could have played exactly the exactly same shot. He would have been in a heap of trouble, so you'll take that. Yeah, absolutely. Better to have a safe one than a, than a dodgy two. The scrutiny of television, though, when a marker calls that they fancy one ball and the measure comes out under the television cameras, and uh, always liked, they always like to know that they've got it right. <laughs> shows why the players have so much faith in them. Well, they could be official. There will be the odd mistake, but I tell you what, they're very few and far between. Again, Jonathan's change onto the forehand, and even though that green ball looked to be in the way in the backhand, I'm surprised he didn't stick with it. He has gone slightly betwixt in between, and normally Two players three. will settle on a hand. <laughs> Certainly for their opening balls. Oh, he's lost this one. Very low. That's two and two ends coming this way. Um. Well, 
every ball needs to have a value and uh, just losing a few balls at the moment still comfortable lead at 7-4 and there's only four ends to go but uh, you don't want to give your opposition a sniff of a chance that's number three still room on the back ball that's the target ball three green Jonathan coming up to have a look at it he'll take a time out here a chance to have a look at it well the target balls really getting into there and dropping into it you know it's any I'm cold. anything in there would be absolutely perfect because that hides his own ball away from the green playing. balls and at the same time gets the shot He looks under again, and you know it's losing balls now, Jonathan. As we're saying, he's not been effective. A third ball of a review this game. A third ball has been very damaging to him. His first two generally have been good. Well, not only are they damaging, David. They're just no use whatsoever where they are. It's not like they're through the head. They're off to the side. They're short, and he should be facing four against here. Well. Jimmy, I don't think he's going to reach for this, but, um, well, that's a chance missed. If he had nailed it with that one, Jonathan was in a heap of trouble. I really expect him to draw the shot here. A mistake by the Englishman. Can the Scotsman correct his error? This could change the whole complex. Oh, look at that. Actions of the second set. Overcorrected. Overcorrected, and it's three to green, and that's a loose end, Jonathan Ross. More or less negates his first end where he lifted the four. He's going to lose a three. And if you look at the balls, look at the two that are short and tight. Three shots, Jamie Chesney. Well, that brings him right back into this. 7 0 to 7 6, with three ends to go. Of course, Jimmy Chesney just needs to tie the set. He doesn't need to win it. Still looking pretty cool out there. And uh, Jack Lang, 25 and a half metres. Isn't really an awful lot that flusters Jimmy Chesney. He's a good international player, international skip. and so He's been here often enough to know what it's all about. chosen the tactic of bringing the mat up changing the length mm. a little short there Correction and a good one as well. Wants the ball to stay up. Again, ineffective ball. North and south, a lot of space in between. Jimmy Chesney can draw a third in here. He's certainly going to make it. Mm, I think he would have liked it to have been just a little bit closer than that. Sneaked in. It's a 
best third goal he's played for some time, but the only danger for Jimmy here is if he leaves something on the wing bowl. Doesn't want to leave a shoulder, so concentrate on getting the line absolutely right. Played three good bowls. This one really wants to be just slightly behind. His own ball has dropped away from the jack. So there's a bit of safety in arriving to it. And he's taking the chance. Oh, that's a beauty. It really is a beauty. It's what he was doing in the first set so often. Well, he sealed off that hand too. Beautifully done. Doesn't look like there's much on the strike shots. There's a big long plant there from the front green one. The draw is not very appetizing either. So he might this might be just a, a hit and hope on the front plant. Yeah, that's what he's playing for. Just trying to rumble things up. Looked a little narrow. Yeah, he's uh, been well off target really with uh, the previous ones. That wasn't too far away. It was only a ball tight. Two shots, Jamie Chesney. Oh. His running balls have, have brought absolutely no success in this match. Well, how easy. A lead can evaporate. 7 0 up after three, 8 7 down after seven. And what looked like a great start to the second set for Jonathan Ross. Uh, it's just gone all wrong. Jack length 25 metres. Well, I was chatting to David Gurley after his match. He was saying Jamie played some very good conversion shots, good running bowls which indicated to me that uh, he might have been in a bit of bother with the drawing, but there hasn't been a lot of trouble with him drawing today, apart from this one, of course. It's a uh, commentator's nightmare. <laughs> Always is when you start talking about someone playing well. But he has been drawing very well in this match. Only played one real runner, and it was a very effective one. Jonathan back onto his favourite backhand. It's a hand that he's doing a lot of damage on. Chesney played in five WBT singles events, just one Scottish International Open. This is second. Just coming through, needs to rest and fall back. on the ball would be good that's the way to do it don't worry about the jack aim for the ball it's a much bigger target Jimmy doesn't waste any time does he quickly onto the mat and away it's a drawing competition both players on opposite sides and he's not up one red almost chance for Jonathan here almost too quick off the mat that time that was a bad ball because even if he had dropped in on the backhand and got second shot, it would have been enough. He's forcing Jonathan to score in the last end. Oh, well played. Very well played. Well, the backhand's been uh, a favour of, of Jonathan. He moved onto the forehand a few times coming this direction in this set. That hasn't been very good. Jamie needs another ball in here. And I think he'd be prepared to lose the double if we see this ball just dropping in on the jack. He's still forcing Jonathan to have to score in the ball. last end, even if he loses two. Jamie has four timeouts remaining. He just doesn't want to lose three because that gives Jonathan a bit of a buffer. Yep, onto the backhand, try and get into that little shoulder of balls. Up there the last time as well. There's Jamie Chesney, two against him. And I tell you what, oh. he's drawn the shot. No, he's going to oh, be unlucky. Gonna push it. Ah. Yeah, just dropped down, a bit unlucky there. Played a brilliant ball and it's dropped down. I don't think Jonathan one will red. do much with this. I think he'll have to take the one and run. Just accept the fact that he has to score in the last end. 
there's no point in playing it well he has to score even if he picks up a double well absolutely yeah. therefore he's looking he could look but no he's not yeah, going to play he, he can't play it it makes no sense it's the right call Jonathan is not playing his last ball one shot Jonathan Ross well Jimmy Chesney it was a terrific ball looked like he'd drawn the shot and then he could only watch as the jack just trailed away from him well then will it be Jamie Chesney or will it be a tie break Jonathan Ross has to win the end this looked perfect for a moment it was one of those ones where you're better just getting the side of the ball and staying upright as soon as he came into the middle of the ball it was dropping back and it's that was a, a, a given that the jack would move to the front one. However, into the last end shootout, effectively, Jimmy will have the last meters. ball of this set, but at 7 0 down, he would have taken going into the last end level. Oh, Jonathan Ross stems the tie to four losing ends. That's slightly further back. It's on the T, 27 metres. And up off the backhand he comes. Good start. It's looking good too. I'll oh, take that. So we're back to the longer jack length. And both players referred it back to their favoured backhand. So in the shorter length, they played the four. That was a great ball to put in with your first oh. delivery. Wasn't it? You know, it's Johnny plays a really good ball, and you bang one inside that. Now he has to decide, does he really want to get that close to it? One green. It's a good effort the other hand it's going deep if he's going the other hand he won't, doesn't want to get anywhere near the red one so he has to go deep towards the respot <coughs> needs to hurry a little bit yes he didn't push through it and well it's not a useless ball by any means there's a certain amount of value in it but it's four feet away from where he wanted it yeah. so stubbed it slightly yeah, a bit of a chat with Jamie and this morning, just uh, before the match, he was relaxing, taking it easy, yeah. Yeah. and he felt good. Yeah, he's uh, looking forward to it. Well, he's in good form. Oh, he's played well in this match, I have to say. Forcing Jonathan into going looking. Now, he, if he taps the ball down, that might just be enough. Oh, yeah. this is this is hard now for Jamie because if he puts another ball in. You know, he could, he just could make it easy for Jonathan, or easier for Jonathan. Um, if he stays away from it, Jonathan can flick the ball out. So, yeah, time out called. I, I, I think he'd probably just take a risk here and, and, and stay away from it because it's not an easy shot for Jonathan. Having said that, you know, it's has three time out if he wants to tap his own red ball down, it's good enough. There's the respot cover he was trying for the previous ball, the little white spot. So, choices. A little draw to tap the ball down, or to fall on the green one and tap the jack back. You know, if he's, if he's coming into that sort of angle, get onto the green ball, fall back with the jack to the red ball, which would bring it to there. But well, the thing is, David, he's played twice okay, to try and draw to that green ball yeah. and just been that little bit short. Right yeah. I, I think the right shot here is just to draw to it, to be honest with you, because that little tap on the ball might be enough. It's a hard shot to go playing weight, and he's, he's trying to draw it. I think that's probably sensible. He's been playing the draw shot sh so well in this backhand. It's coming back. Yeah, it's he's coming back. <laughs> and he's is. playing it. Red. 
To be fair, Jamie could have done that as well if he'd have tried to draw it, so that's where the danger was for him, but it just looked the right shot for me, the way he's been playing. His weight shots, well, he's been struggling to hit a barn door with the weight shots, so play to your strength, and the strength has been drawing. That's a brilliant ball. Well, Jamie Chesney knew he had last ball. He'll come into this if he can. He's got the respot. Oh, yes. It's way high. Never get back. Not a hope. Yeah, he's going to go into a tie break. Three shots, second set, Jonathan Ross, match tie break. All credit to Jonathan Ross. Led 7 0, then trailed by 8 7. Two singles in the last two ends. What an excellent end to bring it through. He did what he had to do. He'll take three at the end. Three, one, two, didn't matter. He just needed to score. Yes, indeed. It's, uh, it's always questionable what you try and do there. What's become more popular, I've noticed in recent years, is that people have been playing very short on the line of the draw just to make it a little bit more difficult because he already had the respot covered with his third bowl, albeit yeah. four feet away. Um, so was the blocker on that and forced Jonathan into playing the weight shot, which is the one that he's been struggling with the whole match. And these are the shots that tend to come back and haunt you. You think, what if I'd done this? What if I'd done that? Uh, but, I mean, he, he threw the gauntlet down and said to him, well, go on, you draw it then. Yeah, absolutely, and he did. And that, that's what Jonathan's been doing on that backhand at a, at a longer length. You know, he's, he's managed to play very well in the second set after going walkabout in the middle of it and losing 2-1-3-2 two, two, and he's come back in the, in the last two ends you know it's it's what one across and given the first act Jack Jamie both players have three timeouts remaining it's what Jonathan does you know he fights his way and scraps his way through to the quarterfinals tournament after tournament winning one match or two matches rarely goes beyond that yeah well, he's had a poor uh, record here just in recent times. Yeah. Just manages to stay in the top sort of spot between 10 and 16 meters. most of his career. So the tie break. Maximum of three ends. One shot can be scored at each end. up the greens where the tactical change has been Jonathan going long and Jimmy bringing the mat up again just wants to come in fall in front of it well tie breaks different of course you just have to score the shot so Jonathan will go looking for this little runner well he's uh, once again just off target not much that time only half a bowl that's about as close as he's been with the runners and he's given himself a chance by pushing that off and running through Ball into the head now, we'll take the two green, green away. Played it with a little bit less weight that time, looking for more accuracy, more sensible. Just like the blocker coming in. Well, it's back to centre rink, you can see the dots Well, is it too far away? I think it might be. I needed that one about four feet away on the line because uh, yeah, it's still available either side. Just controlled weight, come around that ball. The 
this one I'll struggle to get back here it comes though here it comes oh he's got it absolutely clean oh. Yeah, he had a lot less weight there than what I thought right. he had when he let it go. I thought he was kind of much more powerful than that. But uh, the benefit of the ball coming up before that ball gave him that split. Oh, difficult to get out of this. Really difficult to get out of this one. It's the dead draw required. No other shot available. Hard after playing a short blocker. Giving it a go though. He's got a Is chance he here. He's got a chance. He's just wow. made that interested. He's interested and Jonathan's very interested. But I think I need the marker there because Jonathan cannot see measures to save his life. <laughs> yeah, not all players are the best at judging. He could have done that just turning over once more. It has held on the bias. Nearly dropped away. That's why Sandra had to be... Very close, Johnny. Yeah, just Johnny can't tell with her, just glasses. Yeah. <laughs> and, and really, the problem for Sandra is she can't get very close to it because the green ball will, will drop away. Time out called. Red is favoured, I think, from her rings. Fairly safe shot for Johnson on the backhand because ball on the jack. You know, if he just turns it over once, is good. Oh, he's nowhere with this one. Oh, well, that's, that's what he had been doing with his running balls. But he played one really good one this end, and it might be enough to get him the shot. Just favour red. Just supporting the ball. So when the measure comes, oh, I've seen Jonathan measure things that have been two inches in it. He's not a good judge by his own admission as well, but this is close. It's worth pointing out that a no shot can actually be given. if the umpire thinks that both are equidistant. Uh, the red ball definitely favours sitting down as well. It's got the bulge of the ball available. Slightly flatter side that the green ball is going on to. Yeah, oh, you can see it is yeah. there. No, no problem with that one. Plenty in it. So Jonathan Ross will take the opening hand. Oh, the tie break. Uh, Johnson only played one really good ball there in that end, but uh, got away with it. That's the nature of tie breaks. And now he'll go to his favourite long jack length. Match is running on a bit now towards the hour, just over the hour and 20 minutes. And half Normally, we'd say about an hour and a half for a full tie break, so it's, it's bang on time. in the crowd so he'll reset Jonathan Ross well, both players have played well in this match uh, Jonathan's probably been a little bit more inconsistent than uh, Jamie uh, Jamie's been the 
the better player overall. But uh, sets are funny. Jimmy's watching this. I'm not sure if he's so pensive about it. Maybe he's thinking, yeah, see, maybe not just there. That was the problem. I reckon he wasn't just reaching and he was All right. Red. Still want the red. Some match lie against him. He would like to have made it with the second ball. Jonathan's still got a couple of timeouts available. does like this backhand, but it's just a little bit heavy this time. Jimmy, rest the red ball, fall back, that's what he's aiming for. Well, we've had very few tie breaks in the Corporate Funeral Care Scottish International Open of 2015. They're always exciting, they're always worth watching. Dropped away. One red. Still one to red. The ball just needed to stand up on that occasion, and the red ball's well in, as we can see from our rings. I think you're still going to draw into this. Well, he could do what Jamie did last time and stay away from it and end up paying the, the penalty. So, uh, time out call. Probably still reckons he needs a closer ball. The danger is if he drops on the jacket, he could give the shot away. Mm. Yes, I can't really blame him for this. He's. Uh, being very tentative. He's taken away the heavy running ball to drive the red one out, but still leaving the, the draw. Can't really blame him for that, you know, it's pressure out there. Big ball, stay in the competition. So Jamie Chesney just looking to improve. He's got three close, but they're not good enough. Is this going to be good enough? Jamie Chesney to stay in the match comes in, needs to put the brakes on, and he hasn't. It's just gone across in Jimmy Chesney's valiant effort in the Scottish International Open, comes to a close, and it's the experienced Jonathan Ross who'll take his place in the quarterfinals of the competition. Terrific match. Jamie Chesney taking the first set, Jonathan Ross taking the second after squandering a big lead, but he did it all in the tiebreak to win it 2 to 0. The overall scoreline, Jonathan Ross 2, Jamie Chesney 1. Stay back. That's fine. That's cool. Just, it's cool. Well, Jonathan Ross through to the third round of the competition, but my goodness, Jonathan, there were times during that game where I'm sure you thought you were dead and out. 
I certainly did. I mean, I didn't really put a foot wrong in the first set. Uh, I, I drew very well, just maybe my third and fourth holes couldn't convert. You know, Jamie just dead drew all the time. And uh, second set, I got off the blinder. I think Jamie had struggled at the start. And then all of a sudden, he brought the mat out. And then I just couldn't get it, this particular hand. And, and Jamie dominated in that. Yeah, he certainly did. And Jamie, after taking that first set and then Johnny getting away ahead in that second, when you started to claw him back, you thought, this, this, is, this, this must be mine, yeah? Uh, not necessarily, but I, I just sort of tried to get on the board and just give myself a chance in the second set, which I did. Um, and then, yeah, Johnny played a, well, a great bowl to win the, win the second set, to be fair. And then he, he played a, another one in the first end of the tie break. So, yeah, he played a couple of, couple of bombs. He certainly did, and I guess that's the thing. Big bowls win matches, particularly in this format, Johnny. And, and you know, you were really up against it in that second set, and you had to bring out one, probably one of, one of your best bowls, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, uh, if it was the last bowl, I mean, Jimmy went to cover the spot, but I was just looking to try and dead draw, touch moon bowl down. That was, but once Jimmy covered the spot, I fully expected him to hit it and, uh, and get the shot, but he did. Thankfully, he missed. Uh, tie breaks, I got a great bowl. Yeah, down there to chop the, yeah. split the two bowls out, and Jamie nearly drew it. <laughs> so close. It's a tough old format, isn't it, Jamie? Because when you, you go into a tie break, it, you know, it's anyone's game at that point, and it, you know, one big bowl can make such a difference. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I don't think I played two bad ends, to be honest, and, I, and I've gone out 2-0. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the format, that's how it goes. So, um, yeah, good luck to Johnny and the rest of the tournament. Absolutely, and Johnny, so you're through and, uh, you know, and looking good. You had a great first round. You had to battle in the second round. But, uh, you know, this, this week, what are you thinking? You're looking ahead now. What are you thinking? Yeah, well, we keep my drawing game going uh, together. I think I can outdraw most people. It's just getting my, my shots. That's, that's, what's, that's what's beating me at the minute. Okay. Well, listen, uh, well done. Jamie, commiserations to you. You played very well indeed. Uh, a real shame to be going out of the tournament. But Jonathan Ross, through to the next round. Well done. Sorry, I was going to talk to them. Thank you very much.